Varsha, she has asked that if both the father and mother are carrier of sickle cell anemia, is it possible to select an embryo with the AA gene that means unaffected during pre-implantation in IVF or ICSI? And if we have two to three blastocysts of grade A especially, so can we do the genetic testing of the embryo to know whether it is sickle cell free or not? So this is the question that means if the father and mother both have sickle cell, so they want to have a definitely a baby which is unaffected. So, can IVF or the uh, PGM testing can help? Yes, it can be. It can definitely help. In fact, uh, if the both the parents uh, are uh, a trait, so they should do genetic counseling whether they are autosomal dominant or recessive, and then they can go for PGM. How it works and how we do that? We do embryo biopsy. When the embryo will reach uh, blastocyst stage, one or two cell can be removed by a biopsy and can be sent for the testing. By this, doing this, we can know whether that particular embryo is affected or not. After we do the biopsy, all the embryo are freezed. And then when we get the result, in the next cycle, the unaffected embryo can be transferred. Definitely, this uh, testing, that PGTM, can be done only when we have two to three at good blastocyst. If you have only one blastocyst, one embryo, it is not possible to do it. It should not be done. So definitely your answer is if you, you have two to three good blastocyst, you can go for PGTM. That is known as pre-implantation genetic testing. It can be done for sickle cell and it can be done for other monogenic conditions also. Thank you very much.